Whenever I think about my uncle and what he represents for me, the first thing that comes to my brain is, who would have thought that that extra chromosome was going to fail and represent such a strong responsibility and bond in my life? Yes, sir. Yeah. <laughs> Edwin is literally the center of attention when it comes to my family because he showed us and he literally represents what true love is to us. He is someone who is so full of kindness and he's someone that's always there to make us smile because that's what he loves to do. Viola. <laughs> Having him brings joy to my face. But at the end of the day, what I would want for him is something that society is still not providing, which is the inclusion and giving him the opportunity to be a part of the society that I am a part of. That is something that I wish that we were able to provide for him. Because of my uncle, Edwin Sanchez, I was able to get in contact with Quiere Me Como Soy, which translates to Love Me As I Am, which is a nonprofit organization, and that just like me, they share the same dream, that they would like a, a society that is inclusive and that focuses on education, not only for them, but focuses on the education that we as humans should have, which is empathy and kindness to spread around the world. During our events, we make sure to send a message to society where we just spread love and joy because that's what we want the world to be. They make sure to include everybody, the family, friends, and even all the people with Down syndrome and other disabilities as well, because we want to make sure that aside from spreading joy, we spread education and we spread knowledge. With the help of many people, such as celebrities and locals, we have created several campaigns to spread awareness, emphasizing the importance of a society that celebrates inclusivity. Because we understand and we know that the youth is the future of tomorrow, we do educational activities in different schools around the Dominican Republic, where we teach them the difficulties that other people may have and what it feels like to be in their shoes with the goal to awaken them that sense of empathy and understanding that we are all different, but that is not a reason why we shouldn't be included or given an opportunity. Also, because we know how important it is to be self-sufficient and to be able to fulfill that side of us that makes us independent. We have conferences with businesses to create sensibility in the work environment, where we have accomplished the inclusion of many people with disabilities who nowadays are self-sufficient because they were given the opportunity to work. My uncle is the principal reason why I want to take this to a next level, but not only for him, but for future generations, for the world to understand that bullying is not okay, for the world to understand that we should all be willing to accept and to help others, for the world to understand that love should be the base of it all.